In today's video, I'm going to share with you five core elements that your bookkeeping website should have, even when it's a one pager, in order for it to be effective and to act and behave like you want it to, for it to be your salesperson, your brochure, an extension of you and your business, and for it to attract the clients that you want to work with, support, and service. Hi, I'm Veronica Sagastumi. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I created the Profitable Bookkeeping Biz channel in order for me to share tips, best practices, and strategies with you, the early stage bookkeeper who wants to start, run, and scale a profitable bookkeeping business. Now, while I'm going to be showing you the five core elements that your bookkeeping website should have, even if it's a one pager, I want to make sure that I cover a couple of different things that are website design. The five core elements that I'm going to be sharing with you are for your bookkeeping business, specifically for a one page website for your bookkeeping business. Before we get into that, I want to cover briefly the three elements that are related to website design that you should keep in mind. One of them is you want to make sure that your navigation system, even when it's a one pager should be visible and easy to get around. Your visitor should always know where they are in your website. I'm going to cover that in greater detail. I'm going to take you over to my desktop and we're going to review a couple of those one pagers. Before we move on to that, I just said, keep your navigation clear and simple. Everybody should know where they're at. The second thing is your design elements. While you can have a lot of different things that you want to put in there, you're going to be tempted to put everything in the kitchen sink in there. And I'm going to ask you not to keep some white space, keep it skimmable, make it easy to kind of like absorb and know and that uh, have your information flow. Your content should be very specific. And again, I'll go into greater detail of that. But right now, the website design element is all about design with white space. And while we're on the element of design, there's also the hierarchy, right? What order are those elements that you are introducing to the traffic to your viewer in? So you don't want to put testimonials at the very top and then your homepage or your services before you're about. There is a hierarchy and there is an order to it. It's kind of like a workflow, right? You go step one, step two, step three. The same thing with the website design, especially with a one pager, you want to keep it clear and simple and you want to make sure that it be behaves that it that it's translating the the message you want it to for the website design very high level but you want to make sure that the menu is easy to navigate that it is visible that it's not hidden don't make it hard for your visitors to get around and know where to go find things keep it simple and visible you want to have some white space so let's not cram everything and don't be afraid to have space on the margins space on the top and on the bottom and last but not least don't introduce too many fonts too many colors uh, uh, let's keep it to a minimum like two to three for like a headline for a subtitle and the paragraph text and for buttons you know let's keep it concise with the same size and the same type of button for those calls to action and again it'll make more sense when we go and review it but I wanted to cover those website core elements I think I just covered three the navigation the hierarchy and the introduction of fonts and colors I keep going back to that keep it simple to begin with now that we've briefly covered those elements for the website design. We are now going to go over to my desktop. I'm going to share with you what has been my experience of the good and that could use some improvement. And then you can make up your own mind and keep these core elements in mind when designing your own website. All right, now let's go on over to my desktop. I'll see you then. I'm going to start reviewing a couple of one page websites and tell you what is good about them and what could maybe be a little bit different so that you can keep that in mind. Overall, these are great websites. Again, it's simple to start with. You don't have to stay here, but let's just go through them now and you'll see what I mean. Uh, in reviewing what I just mentioned about the design elements, having a hierarchy and the having a clear and simple navigation, this don't totally qualifies and there is definitely plenty of white space. It's not very cramped. There is an about section services. I like that it's very clear as to the four different areas that they offer services in and then there's a contact information. Simple, it gets the job done because he's got a call to action how to get a hold of him. Here's the phone number. The let's get started and here's his email. So it gets a what I would suggest is having it be consistent with the contact and the contact either being email or the phone number 
or if it's going to be both and have it be both in every call to action. Like here, I would put the phone number as well. But overall, this gets the job done. We have here um, the logo, the name of the business, very easy navigation. If you click on here, you can see it just goes to the section. When it's a one page website, the pages are actually sections. So this gets it done. And if we go to the bottom, the one thing I would say is have a navigation thing down here so that we can easily get back to the top without having to scroll. Let's go to another one. This one, again, it's a one page website. I'm just scrolling down so you can see. And what we do here is if we go to the about section, it just scrolls down to that. Um, it's a little bit long and you don't know where to look because it's just kind of like a lot of text. It's not easy to skim, but it does get the job done. It says it's about the business and about the owner, which is great. I love the call to action. It's very consistent. Here is where it gets a little bit convoluted. There's too many options. So the reader is going to get really confused. So I would suggest that you bundle these up, you know, like the accounting and controller could be one type of service. CFO, financial analysis and cash management could be another. Uh, you could bundle this like Excel and tax planning into kind of training, but that's, I'm not reviewing these. I'm just asking you to keep that in mind when you're creating your one pager. Again, the call to action should really be very consistent, but I love that he's got the contact information down here. And again, he's got the, um, let's actually come down here. I would say the same thing. You should have some sort of menu navigation down here that gets you back up, but he's got it up here. So it's okay. I don't mind it because it, the navigation system stays here all the time and you can always click on the logo to get back to the top. This is very clear. The hero image, the top banner, Cannabis Accounting Solutions. Whoever's visiting their website is going to self-qualify and self-identify. All right, let's do another one. And this one again, very simple, lots of white space, good design, good navigation system. And if we scroll down, very clear, simple, uh, consistent with the phone number. Love this. Very simple, clear what it is that they offer and the contact information or you could send them a message. Boom, you can get it all done. So now recapping the fact that for design, we want easy navigation, clear and simple. It'll take you there. When you go to the bottom, I'm going to make the same suggestion, the menu items down here, because as you can see, the menu disappears up here. I'm going to actually now go and review a one pager that I created if I was going to be designing a one pager for my existing accounting and bookkeeping firm. Uh, the name of my firm is Fortified Accounting. I used a template that I've designed and I'll, I'll share that in a moment, but I basically took the template, I copied it and started to update it with my information. As you can see, I'm going to just kind of highlight the six different elements that your one pager should have. So here we go. Consistent call to action, free discovery call, free discovery call, free discovery call. Um, and I think I have one more down here, free discovery call, but I also give a little bit more information. All right. And then uh, you can see the white space in the hierarchy that I referred to at the very beginning of this video. You know, there's plenty of white space, not only where there's a, a hero image, but also in each section. And if I wanted even more white space, I, I can do that. Let me just go through it. Consistent call to action is the first element and that call to action, I'm going to actually click there so you can see the call to action is for that discovery call. And that is set up through my acuity system. So now let's go back to the sample that this, all the buttons will go to the same place. The hero image up here, the banner, it says what we do and who we do it for. Our client is funded startups. What we do, monthly bookkeeping solutions. Of course, we offer more, but that's it. So that's the second element is your header. Call out what you offer and who you help. The third element would be the about you, which is, yes, it's about you, but it's also about your client. And while this is a little bit on the long side, I make it so that whoever's reading this is self-qualifying. They are identifying themselves in what I'm sharing about myself and my firm. And the self-qualification is really important because that's how we end up with the right clients booking the right free discovery call with us. The fourth element that I want to go to is the services. And you can always put another tagline under ways we can support you. I just literally took the template that I sell in my Etsy store, the bookkeeping shop, and it took me less than 40 minutes to update this. I guess I think I did it in 30 minutes because I already knew what I wanted to update. Here's your services. I would suggest no more than three. Keep it simple. It's your one 
pager. This is your brochure, your sales call, your sales brochure. What the focus of this one pager is to get people to contact you in order to discuss their needs further, their problem. And you can have that be an opportunity to discuss the solution. The fifth element, you could share some testimonials. This is optional. It's not required. You could put a picture if you want, the name and just a quote. You can put just the first name and the initial of the last name again. Or you could say, you know, love notes from our clients or hear from our clients, hear from our happy, satisfied clients. Here I just put like a, a placeholder just to remind my visitors who are reading this. And it's like reminding them as to what's the benefit that they may want to consider for hiring us. And last but not least, the sixth element would be the contact information. And again, this goes to my discovery call, but if they want to just send me an email and I tell them, I give them a little suggestions like, let me know what's on your mind. And then here, this is all just linked to my, to my social media, which that's what you can do. And back down here is again, if you click on the logo, it'll take you back home. But here's what I mean about getting you back to the top and to the bottom. If you go to the services, if I scroll down a little bit more, these are the different sections. It's a one pager and we can just go again to the about section, contact, and you see how it goes up and down. This is a one pager website. It's got the six elements. It has the consistent call to action. It has the hero header with who you serve and what you do. And by the way, I selected a picture that was in line with the industry that my firm services, okay, that we focus on. And we thought that this image was really relevant to that startup feel. And next it's the about you, the services you offer, testimonials, and a contact section. Let me actually go and show you the template that I'm referring to. If you want to go and design your own, I'll show you the research that I've created to fast track. This is my Etsy shop. It's called the bookkeeping shop. I will make sure to leave the link in the description of this video where you're watching. I have two resources there now. I'll be adding more. I've already customized them for you in a way that they're fully functioning. And I will say that it also has some placeholder copy for you that is very specific to the bookkeeping website that I'm promoting that you you create. It is a one pager, but the thing that I love about this, if I do say so myself, is that it comes with a training. I created a step-by-step -step training as to how you can customize this template, and I give you a lot of different tips as to what you may want to consider in order to maximize the, the use and functionality of this short, easy, simple, but mighty website. One pager can go a long way and you can be proud of sharing this website. And once again, I want to make sure that you know that even though it says bookkeeping solutions for attorneys, this is just a placeholder. Um, this is where I want you to do the call out bookkeeping solutions or bookkeeping services, bookkeeping and accounting, bookkeeping and tax, tax services for dentists, uh, vet, vets, um, website designers, photographers, you fill in the blank. Check it out because you don't have to start from scratch. I don't know about you, but like I said, I mentioned earlier, it is so much easier to be able to customize something that's already there and make it your own. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you put them down below and tune in to next week's uh, video as I'm going to walk you through how to create, how to design your own one pager bookkeeping shop in Canva. As usual, we covered a lot in this video. Let's do a quick recap. All right, so first we went over the three website design elements. Of course, there are more, but these are the main ones, especially for your one pager. We talked about the ease of menu, keep it visible, keep it clear and concise, don't make it hard for people to find the sections that they want to know and get to. Number two, the hierarchy, the order that you place your elements. And number three is the design element of your colors and your fonts. You don't want to have too many because they will compete with each other. We Once we got through that, we went into the different core elements of your bookkeeping website. There is very specific to your website. Now we covered things from the, the call to action, the, the home page, and in this section, because it's a one pager, the, the pages are actually sections, right? So the home section, the about you, the services, the testimonials, the contact information. And of course, there's always so much more. But in the beginning, I want you to keep it simple. Make it simple for you to get it out there and keep it simple for you to not only design it, create it, design it, but also to start promoting it because that's what your website is. It's, it is a, an extension of you, an extension of your business, and it is something for you to be able to talk about and easily share. 
If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I do appreciate your time and I hope to see you next week. Until next time, I'm Veronica. Bye for now.